And now for part D, it says the point C lies on line one, uh, where A to B is equal to the vector B to C. Find the position vector of C. Okay, so let's say we have our line one here. Okay, now we know the position vector of B. Let's say we have O over here. Say that's O. We know the position position vector of of B. That's where line one and two line line one and line two intersect. Okay. Um, say that's O and that's point B. We know the vector O to B. We had to find it in the first part, which is one three eight. Then it says the point C lies on line one. Well, A B equals B C. Okay, so AB is equal to BC. So let's say this is A. Okay, we already found the vector from O to A, which is this vector over here. Okay, let me just move this one then on the side. So we know the vector from O to A is minus 5, minus 3, 16. We were told that. Okay, now... We want to find the position vector of C, and it says AB is equal to BC. So C obviously must be on this side, otherwise it would be the same same place as A. That's so, okay, C is over here. Right, so I can draw a line from O to C. And C is in such a place such that AB and BC are the same length. So this is the vector O to C, which we have to find. Okay, so... Let's call that x, y, z for now. So that's what we have to find, the position vector of C. Now, what do I know? Well, I know how to go from B to A. B to A is going to be, if I go from B to O, plus O to A. So it's like O A minus O B. That's going to give me minus 5, minus 3, 16, Take away O to B, which is 1, 3, and 8. What does that give me? Minus 5, minus 1, which is negative 6. Negative 3, uh, minus 3, which is negative 6. And 16, minus 8, which is 8. That's the vector from B to A. Okay. Now, we know that if I want to go from O to C, I've got to go from O to B. And then I've got to go from B to C. I have to go, go from B to C. And I know that the vector B to C is the same as A to B, but negative. Uh, negative B to A, sorry. Negative B to A. Okay, so B to C is like A to B, basically, which is the opposite of this. So that's going to be 6, 6, and 8. Okay, so that's going to be, O to C is going to be, um, o to C is O to B, which we already know, 1, 3, 8, plus B to C, okay, which is 6, 6, minus 8. What does that give us? 1 plus 6 is 7, 3 plus 6 is 9, and 8 plus minus 8 is 0. So that is the position vector of C. So we can say O to C is equal to 7i plus 9j. We don't have to write 0, okay? Because it's, there's no k. Okay. And that's the answer to part D of this question, all right? So that's how you deal with these vector equations and vector questions. Making a clear diagram will always help you in vectors, right? And how do you make your vector diagram when it's three-dimensional? Well, you just put the origin any place and a and b and c in any place, like any random place except here, they have to be on the same line, okay? But, uh, you know, it doesn't matter if I drew my A here and my B there and my C there. It doesn't matter if I drew the line going this way or that way or in this direction. If I put my O on that side or this side, it really doesn't matter where I do those things. I just put them in places where I can write down things easily and have space. That's all. Okay, so that concludes question number seven from the January 2018 International A-Level Excel paper, C34. This relates to P4 material, pure mathematics P4 material from the new syllabus. And if you'd like to see other questions from this particular paper here, you can find them in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Other questions from um, the topic of vectors in P4 can be found in the playlist in this section here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link over here and you can watch a video from the link 
uh, which will take you to um, basically that link will take you to a video which explains how to use my channel and find all the different um, index kind of items that I have for the different units. Thank you for watching and see you soon.